Welcome to the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. I'm Mo Rocca, and we are going to take you for the ride of your life. Coming up, how painting with light can brighten your night. Little Mo Peep shears some sheep, gaining mucho miles by losing a wheel. And the hottest way to clean water with water. Now on the Henry Ford's Innovation Nation. So let's talk about paint. When you think of great innovations, paint usually isn't at the top of the list. Although I'm guessing there was lots of hoopla when they came up with eggshell. Now the paint world is about to have a huge light shine upon it. And that light is the paint. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Artists put in a lot of love and time when it comes to creating mobile works of art. The trouble is, in motor vehicle applications, that beauty vanishes after dark, until now. At a company called Darkside Scientific, you could say they paint with light, an invention known as Lumilor. I wanted to meet the team behind the light, so I traveled to Medina, Ohio. This is the Dark Side Scientific team. Artists, engineers, entrepreneurs. Andy Zinko is the company co-founder and the inventor of Lumilor. He's no stranger to the garage, having spent hours at his dad's auto body shop over the years, all the while honing his skills. Do you consider yourself more of an artist who is looking for a solution to creative automotive paints or more of an, an, an engineer? or chemist? Actually, a mix of both. Yeah? Really. Yeah, because it takes a bit of both to envision what kind of things you can do with it, but you have to go to the engineering side to figure out how to do it. Lumilor is a patented, sprayable, electroluminescent coating technology that is energized with an electrical current. In other words, it's a glow-in-the-dark paint technology that could be applied to whatever you could imagine. Motorcycles, cars, semis, even airplanes. This was the first primitive attempt that worked. <laughs> uh, this was actually after about 200 uh, trial and errors that actually got this panel to light very dimly. Since this technology means just about anything could be made into a lamp, I had to ask. Is there anything that you're like, that would be better if it were? You know, actually, I've got a crew that does that better than I do. It's fascinating to watch the things that they come up with. I really started the process and they've made it their own. They picked up a ball and run with it and they've done things that utterly amaze me. I wanted to get a closer look. So I shadowed application technician Mike Weiland, who agreed to show me the dark side, marshmallow suit and all. Mike mixed the Lumilor coating, then we were ready to go to the paint booth. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, welcome to my office. Wow. It's like a spaceship in here. <laughs> Today we're going to do the Lumilor coating process. Okay. Uh, first one is going to be our back plane, which is our conductive layer. Mm -hmm. Second one is going to be our dielectric, which is our insulator. Next one's going to be our Lumilor color, mm -hmm. which is going to get lit at the end with our conductive clear. Mm -hmm. So, you ready? Yep. All right. Okay, I think I did it. You okay? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, it's already starting to glow. That is gorgeous. That looks like like the glowing ocean. Look, it lights up your light. whole face. Right. Ah! I believe we uh, have a little surprise for you. Mike wanted to show me that almost anything could be made into a lamp. Plastic, wood, metal, and even glass. And later, the finished product. Oh my gosh, there's some rose on it. This is amazing and gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Unless, of course, someone is willing to light my ride. Then maybe I'll reconsider. Coming up putting an old wrinkle in that new sweater. How one man plus three wheels equals the future. And magnifying the world's water problem. But first, it's time for the Mo You Know. Post-it notes, those semi-sticky tabs of paper, were invented by mistake. What was the co-inventor trying to make? Was it A, 
a super strong glue, B, reusable paper, or C, a spider trap? To find out the answer, you'll need to stick around. You know, stay glued to your seat. All right, all right, just don't go anywhere.